Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you a couple of personal settings quite useful for using the F4 help. Here right now we are in the transaction FBL1 end to display vendor line items. And here we have the input field for entering the vendor account. Before showing you all of these um, um, possibilities and settings, I would like to explain to you what is the F4 help. So basically the F4 help or also known as the search help is a help that you can use for some input fields that allow using the search help or F4 help. And you can see this if you set the focus on one input field and then you can see this um, yeah this uh, magnifier icon right next to it so there you could use this a button or you could uh, use the four key on your keyboard and then basically a pop-up will open up and here you can enter some information so like for example the search name so for AEW for example then you can start the search um, Okay, there is no so then execute it within here and then here you can you can see it in here okay I have to um, do a wildcard search so let's do it once again a e w and then within here we have our um, entry and then with a double click basically you can take over the ID of this entry so um, what you also could do theoretically is directly enter the vendor account ID, but I think not uh, by heart, you know, all of these um, IDs. So there most probably you're using the very useful search help. Um, especially also the search help is available in SAP Fury. It looks a little bit different, but the functionality is the same. Uh, hit the F4 key on your keyboard or click on this magnifier icon. So basically, what is a really useful trick for the um, uh, search help? What you could use in our case, so we can see that if I would like, if I know, for example, for one entry, I could open up the search help, and then I can enter the search term. So, for example, A E W, hit the enter key, double click on this single result, single entry, and then taking over the ID. So you've seen a couple of steps needed to directly propose it. There's an easy a trick so if you're heavily using um, the search help you could instead of open up the search help you could uh, put an equal sign up front and then putting a e w so for example for the search term and then uh, hit the enter and directly the search help will be executed in the background and proposes the single entry so of course if there's just just one entry so if there uh, would be multiple okay there are just one so make this for example so then uh, here if you have multiple entries then the search help will open up and not proposing directly the single entry and here we could also see how this trick works basically why it's useful so um, you could also use the equal to make a wildcard search because it adds an asterisk at the end and then make a wildcard search so what we've done is basically a e w asterisk um, with just using equal AEW and then proposing this entry. If for you it doesn't work, so what you have to, to be careful about is that it uses with the trick the last used field. So within here we have the first one is the search term. If you, for example, would switch to country and region and then make, okay, let's propose this one and make it once again. So then you can see that not the search term will be used, now the country and region key will be used because the last frequently used input fields, so there is the equal. But if you would like to change it, then go back to this, hit the enter, um, hit the focus once again, then type and make a search to really set the focus. And then the next time you can see that it, this will be used once again. So keep this in mind. <coughs> So, of course, what you also could do is within here, you could use within here. So put an asterisk and then the search term, for example. And then here you will see on the suggested list. And here you can also double click or hit the enter key and then you can propose it. So as you can see, a lot of quite useful functionalities for the search help, for the F4 help 
I can recommend. And under uh, help and uh, settings, there you can do a personal settings for your SAP user. And here you can see that you have also the option for the F4 help. So here you can make some um, user specific settings for you because maybe you've seen some quite obvious topics for the maximum number of hits that are being displayed like the 500. So here we can see that just 500 entries are being displayed. Of course you can change it still afterwards but here you can make this setting um, directly by default. What you also can do is you can set the maximum width of hit lists in characters. So here 255, this should be also quite fine. But depending how large your settings are, you could theoretically change this. So then I think what would be more useful are those three settings. So the first one is do not display personal list automatically. So this is the... Um, the, the list shown directly so uh, if you select this then this won't be shown automatically and um, what you can do is also return value directly if only one hit so um, this is what we've seen so if we select this so if we once again go within here and do our AEW then you will bypass somehow the step behind showing you all the list double click then you can directly propose it within here so um, yeah if you want to have this this could be quite useful then depending on your settings what also could be useful is display the list in the SAP list viewer the AV could control so here for example let's do this so if we once again go within here type in our search term then you can see also the um, the list um, the list within here. So yeah, depending on your preferences, how and what you would like. So there are a couple of settings that you can do. Um, if you would like to go default, then you can click on Apply System Defaults, and then you can you can um, do your settings default. So here, as you can see, a couple of personal settings that can be done also in the search help. So by said this, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections and see you in the next video.